promise you, it don't hold no water based on the unfairness of the earth. That's right. You can't get no knowledge. That's right. And yeah. but by the grace of God go I. We might fuck around here and bounce around here another million years because we can't find shit. You think a nigga in sub-Saharan Africa has privy to some knowledge right now? All them flies and bugs and shit? Reason it out. It's some bullshit. Reason it out. You see, it's some bullshit. You know what that shit is? It's just like anything else. Most of the stuff we're getting from karma, we're getting from India. But you have to study the entire history of India. Most motherfuckers come into India with bullshit Buddhism, and Buddhism is fundamentalism. Buddhism is the Christianity of India. India was a goddamn billion years old fuck the fucking Buddha. And they got thousands of years of dead texts. Go back to Ethiopia, but yet we're going to goddamn do something. It's the same as Christianity. Karma and sin is the same damn thing. Both of them are unfair. You see what I'm saying? It don't make no sense. You, how can a motherfucker from the damn ghetto walking around this motherfucker don't know his ass from the ground be, be accountable with some karma? It don't make no sense. My point is I can see if you gave him all the fucking tools and say now, God damn it, you got the tools, there's no excuse. But the motherfucker don't have nothing. It's a cosmic joke. You see what I'm saying? But we read, you, if you read most of the India stuff, but see, we don't, we only see, we're sectarians. We only study one aspect, and that's good enough for me. As long as it ain't Christianity, I mean, it's something good. I feel good about myself. We only study one aspect. We don't study the whole thing. So we study the Buddhism, and we, they tend to deal more on the karma. The karma deals with most of the information that was in the Vedic system that explained things, and as time went on, as far as the cycle went on, they lost a lot of the ancient information. What they didn't know, they applied to karma. Same thing they did with sin. A lot of shit they didn't have answers for, they applied to karma, or it's just karma. But if you go, if you trace it back to the, the original Rig Veda, they hardly ever deal with karma. They hardly ever deal with human life, period. Because human life is a damn matrix. They deal with mostly the war between the gods and the goddesses. You see what I'm saying? So clearly you can see that one is, you, you see, through the aspect of the Hinduism, one, it gradually goes down to a fundamentalistic movement, which is moral teachings for humans. It might have a much more greater metaphysical flair to it, in Christianity, because most of that's lost, but still yet, it is a fundamentalism compared to the original system. You see what I'm saying? Compared to the original system. The word karma comes from the word ha, ma, heru, ma, ku, ha, ma, harmagaten, harmageddon, armageddon. Karma, harma, was an end time event. More than this some shit, you walking around here talking about all this karma on me. See, Gnosticism, we look and we, it has a Christian overtone to it. And because we're trained on Christianity, yeah. we think that it's that same old Christian bullshit. We don't understand. This Gnosticism is the translated hieroglyphics into Coptic. And I don't care if the Romans stole the whole the concept that they call it Christianity, it's fundamentally Egyptians. Even Hume said that. The Gnostics say that there ain't no such thing. They say it's a bunch of motherfucking gods up there that's playing a trick on us. But you can't get it in a movement. That's the problem with, the, with, with, with Buddhism. It is a religion. Because there's an esoteric form of Buddhism, but the mass of the people, when a billion people gonna get the, uh, the most divine concept, that's bullshit. That's a religion. So the whole karma thing is bullshit. The fucking evil is the goddamn gods that claim that they divine. <laughs> and that's it. And she said the first thing they do is they do you by saying the gods fool the human by telling them this karma bullshit. Because they know that the humans contain the seed that's going to take them over. So it's a bunch of lies. Because it don't hold no water. Even Rudolf Stein even said that religions develop when ample amount of knowledge or gnosis or knowing deteriorates this whole karma thing the concept where you're getting it all you're getting it from Buddhism because you can't find it in the Vedic text so you have to study all of it 
I don't take nothing for granted. I take no stones unturned. I don't believe in nothing. That way I can keep on going. You have to. There's no end in this stuff. If I wake up tomorrow and I got a light bill, fuck it. There's some work to be done. There's something I ain't getting. And the other shit ain't going to be sufficient. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not going to be happy with that. So you got to keep on, but we're talking millions of years. So you can't take one section and say, this is the ultimate truth. So the whole karma shit and all, if you go by them damn niggas in Tibet, they can't step on a roach. Mm -hmm. I can't step on a snail. I said, that's contradiction. That's a motherfucker. You say in the same book that this is an illusion. That's a goddamn contradiction. Now, one minute you're telling me Maya, illusion. This is an illusion. It doesn't exist. And the ultimate Buddha and Brahma realize this doesn't exist. Now you telling me that if I step on a roach in the illusion, that I'm fucked up? <laughs> <laughs> you can't have it. What? If it just was a goddamn illusion that don't exist, <laughs> and I step on a roach in the illusion, I'm supposed to get kicked up the ass because I stepped on nothing? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That motherfucker buying you a damn lottery ticket for damn your birthday. Here, motherfucker, here's a piece of paper. Here's nothing. Because as long as you got a better chance of life to hit your ass in the shit, here, here's a lottery ticket, nothing. Oh, you all right with me, man. I got nothing. So I'm just saying, the whole, you know, see, because they're the ones that bring you the whole shit about the illusion in the Maya. If this is a matrix, they don't exist, then how can karma be? The only thing you know that accumulates karma in your thing is something you do physically. Right. Some regular failure. You see what I'm saying? So my, it's a contradiction. You can't tell me that Maya, illusion, the world of appearances, this is an illusion, this is a this is what you call it. It doesn't exist. But yet, if you do something up in that non-existence, <laughs> your soul will be fucked up. <laughs> that means somebody's playing a trick on you. You see, so even that alone is a contradiction in turn. I gotta neutralize the ego so I can get through the matrix that don't exist so I can see pure light and pure consciousness and all that shit here. But yet, do you mean to tell me that the shit that I'm trying to get away from is valid enough? That's, that valid that I get punished for fucking up that shit? That I'm trying to get away from? It don't make no sense. It don't hold no water. You see, but we, but that's, the, here it is again. They're taking something face value because people don't study the origin of things. You see what I'm saying? They don't study the origin of things. The Buddhism that goes into that stuff is a religion and that's a late conception. You see what I'm saying? It's no different than Muhammad. It has splinters of divine energy, divine knowledge, and it has a whole meditation system and all of that type of thing. In that case, if it's coming, why well, I gotta meditate? I thought meditation was to break down this bullshit. Now, if this is reality, I need to be dealing with this shit here. You see, it, it, it don't hold no water. You see, so that's a reform, something to keep people pacified because the masses was getting into it. And they didn't, the masses were getting into it, and they couldn't understand the high level, and that's what the Buddhism say. They said that the Brahmins and the, the, the Vedics had all these complicated things that the masses of the people couldn't understand. The masses of the people don't supposed to understand nothing. You don't never go to follow nothing that the masses follow. Yes, if, you know, you wouldn't want no, you wouldn't want no everyday nigga off the street operating on you taking off your nuts. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? If you had some kind of test testicular cancer, you would want the best. You wouldn't want no nigga around no liquor store fucking around down with your you with your scrolls with your scrolls. Right? So how the hell am I gonna trust what the damn people wanna get? I want the Vedic people that know the real mysteries. And that's the root. Yeah. That's the root. That's the root. Not the shit that everybody got. Even the fucking Asians eating rats and cats and bats. <laughs> The bigger, the bigger, the bigger, the bigger. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? When it gets to a mass movement, they got just as much, they got Buddhists, Muslims, and Christians. Anything that has a mass movement, shit you don't want. Anything that half the people in the world can obtain, you know what I'm saying, can't be good enough for me because half the people in the world is fucked up, don't know their ass from a hole in the ground. Because a white man can rule them, and they want to be white. Goddamn 
like East Indian talking about some booty shit, but yeah, he want to be a white man. Look out on you like you a goddamn nothing. So I want to know something that somebody else don't know. Some elite stuff. I don't want to know something that everybody can get. Because that's shit. You know what I'm saying? So, so, so what it is is, is we don't study the history of these things, so we just think that in actuality, we just take it face value. We don't know that they went through a deterioration period in India, just like they did in Africa and every place else. And you got to go all the way back to the origin. And when you go to the origin, they all start coming together and start sounding the same. The mythology talk about the same thing. A group of gods took over their parents and turned their parents into humans. And the humans was not worshiping their children. You see what I'm saying? And the children is telling them that they're the damn supreme God so that they won't rise up. They ain't nothing but our children. That's the mystery in India, Greece, Rome, Egypt, Samaria, all. But you got to take it back to the least common denominator. You can't just stop in one segment. I don't give a damn how beautiful these hieroglyphics look. If I don't know the ultimate reality, you understand what I'm saying? That ain't good enough. You see what I'm saying? So now we got sectarian, we got people that don't know more to deal with Egypt. You understand what I'm saying? But yet Egypt is in fragment. It was goddamn invaded for a fucking damn thousand years. And we say, well, everything came out of Egypt. Well, why can't the shit that came out of Egypt be valid? That's a contradiction. If everything came out of Kemet, why can't I go here and say that even this stuff in India could be a part of Kemet? You see what I'm saying? So we still get into, because we are mostly interested in throwing off Christianity. So we have to find a model, and we can't say that I'm into several different things. We got to find something we think is superior, because we can look at the goddamn pyramids and say, hey, that's got to be superior. You see what I'm saying? And yes, it was, but you ain't going to bit more no something stuck in one system, and you're going to do anything. You got to put all this shit together.